hello and welcome friends so in previous video we have seen that how to create a export functionality for csv and pdf now we are going to create a functionality for excel excel file so how to do that one uh, we'll check in this video so in employee view.jsp file we have already added uh, this icon uh, with the anchor tag employees export excel and icon as the file excel here now if you come with this mapping in the employee rest controller then uh, we have uh, we are getting the uh, list of the employee from the service class and uh, then we are passing this uh, uh, this service like this in list of employee with the response uh, of this uh, same function to the export to excel and this function will uh, create uh, like uh, this function export to excel will uh, create a document of the excel file and it will get downloaded so like uh, to get it downloaded from uh, uh, this uh, excel file what we need to do we need to set the response header first uh, as the response we, we, we are passing the response object then application as octet stream dot xls as the extension and employee as the prefix so what it will do set a response header function it will create the response uh, like basic thing which required by all this uh, function export to csv and export to pdf in csv we have passed this text slash csv extension as the dot csv and prefix as the employee underscore and in pdf uh, we have passed this application slash pdf dot pdf as the format and employee so to check this all thing all, all this uh, export to pdf and export to csv please uh, go with these two previous video so that you will get all this whole idea about this project now we have set uh, the response header here and after setting the response header uh, like we need two object uh, which uh, which uh, we have already declared here as the xxsf workbook and xssf sheet so these two object we uh, need here so after this uh, we have created uh, after setting the response uh, we have created the two function as the right header line and right data line and in data line we are passing the list of employee then servlet output stream response that get output stream and that output stream we are writing uh, in the workbook and then we are closing the workbook and after that we are closing the output stream so what we have done in the header line uh, we have created the header of that document so we have already have the sheet uh, object uh, sheet uh, sheet as the variable and uh, this workbook as the object so with that uh, sheet of uh, like sheet variable we have created the uh, sheet using that workbook reference so workbook dot create sheet as the employee so that sheet name will be as the employees and then we have created a row as a row is equal to sheet dot create row of zero and then we have created the style create a style and uh, then we have created a font xsf font workbook dot create font and on that font object we have set the bold as true and uh, font height as 16 then cell style uh, cell style dot set font is equal to font so that cell style object uh, on that we have set that font then uh, we have created us uh, we have create one more function to create a cell so on, on that cell function what we are doing we are passing the cell style whatever we want then we are passing the row so row is here that uh, sheet dot create row so that row will be as the zero and uh, then on the row we are passing the column index so zero one two so on the zero row at the zero index zero column we want as the value as the id and sales style which we have defined as the bold true and font height should be 16 and the self uh, sales style dot set font then uh, this uh, on the zero row first column we want name and zero row second column we want department name and that this create cell or uh, cell function what it will do it will uh, create the cell object and uh, in using that column index and uh, sheet dot auto size column so it will uh, set that column uh, or like uh, the uh, based on the department name uh, size of that width of that column it will uh, create that uh, uh, it will uh, do it in the auto size format and then we are checking if the this uh, instance of integer if that value which we are passing this one id name or department 
so this is the common function which can be used for the table data also for the employee listing uh, that uh, employee list object also so we are uh, we have created the object as the variable here so if the value is instance of integer then we are using the cell dot set value integer of the value okay if the value of this uh, if the value that uh, that is the instance of boolean so we are passing we are we are converting that value in the boolean and if the value if uh, otherwise it will it, it will be considered as the string and we are converting that value if we are casting that value to the string and after that doing we are uh, we are setting that uh, cell as a set style uh, which the style which is coming from the that function so right header line is doing what it is doing it is just creating the header of that uh, document and in that we are passing uh, we, we are we have called this create cell function then if you come to this right data line here this one right data line this function in which we are passing the list of employee so what it is doing it will be first we have created the row index as the one so zero we have already used for the header so we are uh, we are coming as the row index as one and then uh, we have created the sales style so that uh, this style should be different uh using that uh, like it uh, the font height of that style should be 14 and then we have set that style to the that sales style object set font as font and we are iterating employee one by one then we are passing uh, we we, we are creating the row object with the uh, that uh, sheet dot create row row index plus plus so what it will do row index is now it is it's one so here row index will be incremented by one and that column index will be incremented by uh, like one based on the iteration and row index only incremented by once when we have the one employee object so first it will be one then column index here it will be column index here it will be zero then one then two and again if first it after the first iteration it will again come to this one and uh, then again it will uh, create uh, that row index as 2 now it will be as 2 and then here again a uh, column index should uh, will be 0 and here it will be 0 then 1 and then 2 here so like this it uh, we are creating the cell also and uh, we are done with this excel part so we have uh, done uh, we have created here uh, these two function uh, the, sorry the, here we have created a three function first for the create header line in that we have created a header and one common function for creating a cell by passing the row column index and object value as the value and style what is the style we want and then we have created uh, we have iterated the list of the employee and uh, this is for the writing the data of the employee now let me execute the project and show you the output if you come here then click on the excel file as you can see document has been downloaded here now let me open this document inside downloads and uh, open this document and you can see the id name department has been uh, added uh, like created uh, as the sale value and whatever the properties we have set in the fund uh, like that sale style all this has been added here and this one uh, id name and thus that adjust auto size adjustment has been also done here so like this we have completed the excel part also and uh, so if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section i will definitely reply on that and uh, this uh, all this project uh, link uh, i will share that csv and pdf i will share in the description and this whole project also which is the crowd operation of this employee uh, project i will share in this description please go through that once and uh, please subscribe to my channel friend thank you